Very high, very high. Obviously, everyone is excited, whether it's within the team or or outside. We could feel the excitement and you know the 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 envy, the atmosphere um, building up. We are hoping to have a good crowd tomorrow to to support us from the from the kickoff and then uh, uh, hoping to go through. You're one of three division champions in this group playing this weekend. What do you know about your uh, first opponent on Friday with uh, Flint City? Well, we know that it's a uh, you know consistent. Um, playoff making team every year. I think they made like 25 or 26 times the playoff out of 28 season, something like that. So we know it's definitely a good team, um, but it's good. It's good for us. It's a good test. Um, at the end of the day, if we want to go until the end, we're going to have to beat the big team. So why not beating them at home in front of our crowd? What has Coach Avery been emphasizing in practice as you get ready to take on a strong opponent like Flint City? You know, we didn't change much. Uh, every week we work depending on the opponent, obviously, but we work on ourselves first. We don't change uh, depending on who we're playing. Uh, the approach is the same. Um, obviously, there is more, naturally, more focus, more adrenaline, more excitement, like you said before. But um, in terms of tactical and, you know, technical, uh, we just work on, on, on our strength and what we've been doing the whole season because it's been working, so uh, we'll keep doing it and um, hope that it works on, on Friday. Like you mentioned, playing in front of a home crowd, um, playoff atmosphere on top of that, just what are you most excited about come Friday night? Well, first of all, is I'm very happy and excited for the crowd because you know they've been pushing us in the last three seasons. Uh, they've been here uh, win and losses, or home, away, so it's a really good feeling to be able to offer them um, this game on tomorrow. Uh, and then we don't want to stop here, like now, we're here, we're hosting, now we want to go as, as far as possible and be able to celebrate with them because they, they deserve it, the best fan in the league. So, a bit of a side note, we found out you're the man behind the TikTok account for uh, Fort Wayne FC. Just how much fun has that been? Uh, just trying to get, show a different side of Fort Wayne FC this season. It's actually so much fun because, like you just mentioned, it's a way for our community and fun to, uh, to you know, know and get the players um, a different way than just on the field when they see us at training in the game. Uh, and I think people enjoy it, you know, it's, it's fun, uh, whether it's soccer challenge or like other, other trend. And uh, we, we, I heard good feedback, so it's, it's good, good news. Is that something you uh, hope to do long term, uh, create social media content like that? Why not? We'll see. We'll see where, where, where it takes me. But uh, it's definitely a, a great experience and I'm enjoying it doing it.